Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 209 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out oh really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch dc well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. He is all about that left kick to the body. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. Ooh, head kick land. He's hurt. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. What a body kick. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big shot land. Changes his stance. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Watch the strike. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh, big punch land. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, nice. Loaded up there in that high kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Big right hook coming, it's locked. Nice head kick. Plus right hand is true. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Big kick land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Blocks the shot. Beautiful head kick. Straight right is there. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. What a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive the first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected to be caught on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Nice punch by Lee. Oh. 
Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Flips him with the left hand. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Misses with the right hand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big head kick lands. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Unable to connect with a right hook. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the jump. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, no shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. That shot blocked by Lee. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Right hand upstairs. Nice move with one. to go. <laughs> 20 seconds to go round two. Kick home and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. High, and now he's got a hurt back. Oh, double jab there by Lee. <laughs> Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on.
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Able to check that kick as well. Nice kick there by Lee. Try to establish that jab. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Just missing on the uppercut there. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Straight right hand counter, useful. Nice straight punch. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. The season coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Thank you. Throws the right hand there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him for earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Big punch land. Ooh. Right punches there. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. His opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This probably, it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Thank you. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. That one's still in. Nice strike. Ooh! Left punch.
which is true. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Straight punch lands. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Leg kick checked nicely by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch there. Hands higher, hands higher. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just over three. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Big kick. Very significant welt to the left side. Spinning back here. Strike. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Nice. Big body kick land. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Back and forth we go. That strike blocked by Lee. How about that shin? Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. And he switches his stance yet again. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. 
I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big kick. And a knee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with that left hook. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. This round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, nice counter jab there. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Trying the flying knee there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, man. oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once, and then throw that jab right behind it, it's nasty. Nice body. Good punch land. Liver kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Came with inches right there, boy, wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big kick lands. Oh, tags him with that uppercut. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time? He lands it so effectively. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Defense. Oh, man. <laughs> jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. Nice one, two there. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. 90 seconds and counting remain in the fight. Can't take oh! many of those. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go to 
Chase that finish down now. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Drive for that takedown. Nice punch land. Beautiful body kick. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Looked like he clipped him with a left-hand counter there. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and he's keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming. There with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't oh. really prepare for. He went high on that one. Connects with a right. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48 47, 48 47, and 49 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity.